What is up, guys? The time is here. The time is now. Shout out to EA for bringing me out, getting me the opportunity to get these gameplays and scans, etc. in. So smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more exclusive NBA Live gameplay and everything NBA Live on my channel, guys. So look, I'm in the game. My name is in the game. We're in the creation suite right now. I'm going to go ahead and go over a few things. I want you guys to see how the creation suite works. Scan yourself. And get your face in the game. Okay, so he says scan yourself. I already uploaded myself to the server. Here we go right here. This is me, guys. This is amazing how they have every detail from the blemishes to the mustache to the facial hair that I shaved, the stubble, and all the other stuff. Your hairstyle says a lot about your look. Let's choose yours. Okay, so now we're going into the hairstyles, guys. We have a lot of NBA players scanned into the game. A lot of hairstyles that are in the game. So nine times out of ten, if you have a certain hairstyle, you may be in the game. They have everything. I wanted to go ahead and go over this stuff and show you guys exactly what was in the game. They have different hair colors, hair textures, different hairstyles to the point where it's like now to the culture. They have it where it's current. Look at the little Uzi Vert dreads, the AO and TO dreads. They got the, I mean, they got the kid in play joints. They got the Damian Lillard. They got the fades, brand new parts and added to the game. In 16, they had a lot of great stuff, but this game right here, EA went over the top to actually give you guys a lot more options to choose from. I'm just excited to go ahead and bring the news to you guys that we have a game. NBA Live 18 is finally back, and we have a variety of great hairstyles. And I just wanted to honestly take my time and go through these hairstyles. Now, look at the uh, the fade top D-line black. Look at the parts. Look how much quality and graphic. And look at the detail in the parts, man. They even have the faux hawk, the afro. Look at this right here. This is the actual hairstyle they used in that player for the commercials and all the stuff like that. Man, that's just pretty crazy. We got the Gumby, the high top wow. Look at that with the wow hair, with the scrunch. You know, you lose a little sponge on the top. Crazy. The high top fade, kid play. All that stuff is in the game. The receding hairlines for all my old players out there that's trying to get their old squad on, don't get their old thing on or whatever. Look, the shave short front part brown. Look at these, man. This is just crazy. The fades are nice, too. Remember, we had the barbers uh, actually come and cut us up. So nine times out of ten, those famous barbers, those NBA barbers that, you know, the NBA live events we went to, I'm pretty sure they actually did a lot of these haircuts because we got scanned in the game. We were scanned after our cuts. Our faces were scanned with the scan rig. And with that being said, guys, I'm just wanting to go ahead and go through and give y'all a thorough. Look at the mic. Look at the micro braid with the bees, man. They even got the, the Yachty. Yachty hairstyle on here, man. Look at this right here. This look like something that I actually have right now. That's the actual hairstyle I actually got at the NBA Live party, the tour party in California. I'm trying to tell you guys, we are just about to take this to the next level. So go ahead and download your demos as soon as possible when they are available and go ahead and create your player. Let's go ahead and see what we can do and get on this NBA Live 18, guys, because we are back for the culture. We try and get it popping. We're going to go ahead and go into the next segment of everything. Now look at your boy, looking good. The snapshot was taken. Let's start creating your look. If you haven't already done so, beard, scruff, or clean shaven, your path to facial hair greatness starts here. Okay, now we have a lot of different facial hair this year. They added a lot of different facial hair options in NBA Live. So, that being said, like Rich Medina said, let's go ahead and get into facial hair Greatness. Look at this beard right here, man. I don't know if I can really do the beard. For, but for all the beard dudes out there, man, big shout out to y'all. I got the little goatee, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, I ain't even hating on the beard gang. But anyway, with that being said, guys, look at all these different facial hair options in NBA Live. I wanted to bring you guys every single element of the game, man. This channel covers a lot of NBA Live, a lot of sports gameplay, but NBA Live was my main goal on this channel and our game was gone for a few years but now our game is back smash the like button if you want me to drop another video fast i'll drop them fast let's get this video i don't know just drop likes i don't even care what you do let's just have, let's just have fun we got the game back you know what i'm talking about so look at the stubble right here with the stubble right, hold, on, hold on the beard the fine sideburn that one's dope too man that one's dope too but i'm trying to find that perfect one it looks like the one that i actually have so i'm gonna go ahead and go with that one and um Let's see what we can do. So, I'm going to go back into it one more time. Hold up. Let's see what we got. I'm going to double check and make sure that I have the correct facial hair. That's not it right there. The fine side, the fine side burn, but okay. 
I mean, that, that's fine. I guess, I guess that's fine, man. That's pretty much what I'm rocking with right now. That's pretty much what I got. So, I guess that's what we're gonna go with. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. That looks like, okay, hold on. That looked like it at first. That actually looked like it. Okay. All right, no, you know I got the beard. Okay, so I'm just scrolling through random hairstyles and trying to see what the facial hairstyles could be, guys. And I want to take my time to actually show you, like I said before, something you may want to see in the game. I want to take my time with it, but still, you know, you know, be, look at this now. Look at these chops. I look like somebody out the 80s, man. The early 80s, mid 80s. Oh, come on, bro. 70s is what I want to say. But I'm going to go ahead and go with this one right here. This one is more like it. This is more like what I have right here, man. Kind of like the, the Van Dyke curly short black five we're gonna go ahead and go with that one so that being said we can go into the next part of the video which is play styles y'all know i'm big on a play style so let's choose that let's get it now it's time to decide what kind of player you want to be first let's choose your player type guard wing or big all right guys so look i'm gonna go ahead and go through all of them i really want to be a more of a wing kind of like a forward like a small forward but still have like guard type capabilities but if you look at the guards you see all the different uh options that show you the breakdowns right here if you scroll so look at the wing shooter right here offensive well hold on hold on let me st let me stop going back and forth hold on let me go ahead and just stick so you have players like a wing when we go into the wing you have three categories for the wing right wing shooter wing score wing defender for defense and nine times out of ten i'm probably gonna go with the wing score i mean we max out at 93 for three pointer but I don't know. The wing shooter was doing his thing, but we've got a wing score. See, well, well, I don't know, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and go through it. We're gonna just choose it on the fly and see what we got. So, the wing defender, the Kawhi Leonard, man. You have on ball defense at 93 and a layup at 93, but the three pointer is 93 and the mid range shot is 93 for the wing shooter. So, that's just one of them things that I like. But then the wing score. So, I'm kind of having questions about which one I should go with but nine times out of ten I want to go with the wing score because I want to be able to shoot that many have a decent real decent three-point shot and plus we have secondary skills too that can help us out so if I go with the wing score I think I'll be fine 93 dunk 93 dribble and then all these capabilities are locked at level seven they unlock and then for the choose two secondary skills they lock they unlock at level 25 so I think we should be good man I think we should be good with that uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the wing score. I'm just like uh, indecisive right here because when you choose, you can't really go back. When you choose it, you can't go back. You gotta go ahead and stick with it. So I think the consistency of what I play at EA, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the wing score. And I'm gonna keep looking at them until I figure this out, guys. This is trial and error. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the wing score. Now, that's what I am a wing score. Now, look, this is the wingspan. This is how we actually choose our creative player, height and weight. And you see how everything is working when I go up. You'll see certain things go down on the right side of the uh, attributes of me being maxed out at speed, vertical, stamina, strength, all that good stuff. And 210 pounds is kind of, it's kind of, uh, kind of heavy. I mean, it's 205. Maybe, maybe cruiser weight. You know what I'm talking about? Like weight, 65. I get what 77 strength. But if I go up 78 and it slows my speed down. So I want to actually have decent speed where I can get up and down the court. It can do what I want to do with the 6'5 height. So 84 speed, 80 vertical, 75 stamina, 76 strength at 205 pounds. I'm good to go, I guess, guys. I may go ahead and go with the 6'5, 205 swag. So anyway, let's, uh, let's do that. All right, so I went with that right there, man. 6'5", 205. I am a wing scorer, and my inside out is the signature ability for me. Finishing at the rim will grant a stackable boost to three-point shooting accuracy. So that's what I wanted. But anyway, guys, I'll be back with another video. Smash that like button. Peace.